to you from Umami Gourmet Coffee and Exotic Tea. <laughs> Happy New Year to everyone. Some of my earlier videos were recorded before the New Year, so I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to say that, but Happy New Year to you all. Um, I hope... <laughs> I hope this year will be a better new year or better year, although it hasn't started off that way. But we are going to be hopeful. <laughs> okay, so I came in today to package some orders and ship some orders. I thought about that maybe you thought that the holiday box were the only teas that we had for winter. Well, I wanted to let you know that, no, that's not the case. So I just wanted to jump on here really quick and let you know about the different winter teas that we have. Now, when I think of winter teas, you know, I think of like some cinnamon, some pomegranate, um, some gingerbread, some roasted almonds, um, just those flavors is usually or typically what I think about when I think about winter teas or winter flavors. So we have a ton load of different winter teas. I'm going to put a link down below that will show you that will go directly to our winter teas. But I'm going to pull some where well, I pulled some out. You see this beautiful array of teas here. And I also pulled out a lot of our fruit and herbal teas because I do understand that in the holiday box, I did not feature those. So if you have not seen my video on the holiday boxes, I did two. I did a green and white one and I did a, an adventurer's holiday box. We still have some available. It's only while supplies last, but check out my video. It's really good. It's a really good box. It was very popular and I may have some left, but let's get into these winter teas so that we can talk about all those nice flavors that I know you're loving. And hey, it's <laughs> coronavirus, we have to stay in anyway. So what better way to stay in and enjoy a cozy up with a nice cup of tea? That's what I like to do. So let's get into these teas. So the first one is Cranberry Burst. Now Cranberry Burst is an old time favorite from Virginia. And this tea is just really packed with a lot of cranberries. So cranberries, hibiscus is in there. We have some rose hips, some apple bits. Um, this tea is really, really flavorful. What kind of word is that? flavorful <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I've just made up a new word this tea is very flavorful it has lots of cranberries in it it's packed with cranberries the brew is such a bright pretty red this one is just delicious And then we have Fireside Memories. Now, this tea, it has the hibiscus in there. It also has the hints of cinnamon in there. And let's just read what I wrote. So, it's Fireside Memories, it's the name of the tea. It is a fruit infusion, so it's caffeine free. And it says, relax by the fireplace with the robust flavors of almond layered with cinnamon nestled between rose hip and hibiscus. The balanced combination of flavors is, def is a definite palate pleaser. Fireside Memories, this is another favorite of my Virginia, uh, my Virginia customers. Now, Honey Roasted Almonds, this one is a little new. I say a little new cause, because um, I didn't have this at my old shop. This is a new one. So this one is just like it says, um, uh, Honey Roasted Almonds, 
oranges, star anise, cardamom, and beetroot pieces. Now this one also, when you smell this, when you open this bag, this is delicious. And for me, this one kind of, it puts me in the mind of a dessert, okay? So it's really good, caffeine free, great for a nightcap, it's delicious. Now, ginger almond cookie. This one, oh my God, when you open this bag again, and I'm gonna put the picture up. You see the white things that are in the picture? Those are the candy coated almonds. So when you brew this particular brew, the candy coated almonds, it, it, it will have a sweetness to it, not too sweet, but a sweetness to it. And that's from the candy coated almonds that are in this particular one. Now it's called ginger almond cookie. And it's this one definitely smells like fresh baked cookies. And this also has like ginger, almond, orange uh, notes in there. Uh, Oh my God. Okay, so gingerbread mascarpone trifle. It's a word, it's a, it's a mouthful. But guess what? I didn't stumble across the word. <laughs> so this is wintry spices awaken sweet gingerbread, fruity apples, mandarins and almond slices, while yogurt granules add a creamy finish. This black tea will become a winter staple in your tea collection, an absolute delight for any palate. So the gingerbread mascarpone trifle is dessert in a cup. And you know what? I think all of these might be a dessert in a cup. Most of them are a dessert in a cup. But I have about eight here. Yes, I have about eight here. I could not... <laughs> We will be here all day if I were to name all of the winter teas that I have. So please check that link down below. But I have two more. These two more are absolutely new. Um, most of them are new, but anyway. <laughs> the two more are absolutely new. They're, they're, I, haven't, I have not sold them before. So the first one is, no, I have three more. Yeah, I have, oh, shoot. I have three more, okay. So, I think I need a, a sip. That's why I'm confused. Let me take a sip. And actually, I can talk about this particular one. This is the Acai Berry Christmas. Now, don't get hung up on the word because I named it Christmas or because Christmas is in the title because this tea can be enjoyed all year round it's a white tea it has berry notes in there some blueberries some blueberries and acai are the main characteristics in this particular white tea it is absolutely delicious it's called acai berry christmas do not get hung up on the fact that it has Christmas <laughs> in the title because it is absolutely delicious. You will be missing out on a great tea. Um, I drink this all year round because I love it because it is so delicious. I absolutely love this. We have an apple cider. Now, this smells delightful. Now, I did a video on a holiday punch and I used an apple cider with that. But this one is, if you notice, apple cider only comes out, you know, during the fall or whatever. By Christmas time, it's usually all gone. Well, with this tea, you can have it all year round. And this is, it's delicious. It has this tea has apples, star anise, cinnamon, elderberries, almonds, and it just brings a very, very good dimension to your apple cider. And this one, I think is another one that I'm gonna do a rest, um, make a recipe for a cocktail on because 
I just love apples, you know, like everybody else in the fall and in the winter seasons. But you can have this all year round. The smell is amazing. It is really amazing. And then we have our Canadian ice wine. Now this particular tea, I'm not sure if you're familiar with ice wine before. Um, I went to Canada and we were able to taste some real ice wine. And this is a very, very, very close, if not dead on, I will call this dead on for ice wine. It is recommended that you use sugar with this to really get that flavor. But the grapes in here are so amazing in this particular tea. So this is a black and a white tea combined, actually in a Super Pico, a black tea with a white tea combined. This particular tea has pear notes with hints of berries in there. Oh my God, this is absolutely divine. Now, if you think of a black tea, most people, when you think of black tea, you have a different flavor profile than what this particular tea is. And, and the reason why is because it's, the, it's a mixture of the black and the white tea with the pear notes and the berries. So this is actually a lighter black tea than what you would normally uh, expect. This tea is delicious, I'm telling you, do not sleep on this. And January is the season to make ice wine, so I thought it very appropriate to put this particular tea in, in the winter tea box. So that's all the teas that I have for you today. I have put all of the links down below so that you can see what teas are winter teas and what teas will be perfect to enjoy at home on these nice cozy days. I say nice, but <laughs> it's cold y'all. It's really cold. So a nice cup of hot tea is ideal, whether you have it in the morning, the afternoon, Thank you for watching, guys. Please tag a tea lover. Please subscribe. Please like. All of those things. I appreciate you watching our videos. And the orders have been crazy. I appreciate that, too. I love it. Okay? This is what I wanted to, to do. Um, hashtag life of an entrepreneur. I'm loving it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time.